adventure begins as a recording of this Saturday, January 7th, 2022, Homestead, Florida, at Robert Is Here. It's a fruit stand. I believe there's even some animals and other items inside here. Homestead, Florida. I have left the keys. I'll be taking some back roads. Back to celebration. Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. My mom and I are fin finishing up our little mother and son vacation down in Key West and heading northbound. I'm going to try to go through some small towns, some back roads, some less traveled areas, stay off of the turnpike as much as possible once we get out of some of the, the bigger areas. Just see what I can see, take my mom home, and then later on this evening or this afternoon, I will be home back to my place. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Take a look at these. This is something called a jackfruit right here. $3.50 a, a pound. Robert is here fruit stand. Very, very famous in this area. There's just some papayas, red lady papayas. My mom's already kind of gone in here, said she's gonna stock up on some food items as well. Yeah, Indian River, grapefruit, watermelons. Avocados. There you go. They also have world famous Cubana milkshakes. Look here. There's a skull up there. Got some cow horns. Even got the Robert is Hill, some dill, cucumber dill pickles here. You can buy some merchandise right here. Oh, it's in Florida City. Okay, it's not Homestead. Technically, it's in Florida City. Have a big bunch of fun at Robert is Here. Oh, Robert says, step out back for our iguana and emu collection. Robert also says, ask about shipping your gifts and goodies. If you decide to purchase something, you can have them shipped. So I'm gonna go back here and see the iguana collection and emus. Hey, goat. How are you? Oh, I don't have any food for you. Sorry, can I pet you, goat? Nope, no petting? Okay, fine. I have a whole petting zoo out here. Here goes a cow. There's an emu. I think that's an emu. animals. Oh, some tortoises over there. Take a look over there, that geese. There's some tortoises kind of way over there. This old tractor here called the Row Crop 70, named Ollie. They're tucked away over here, a lot more older versions of tractors. They're old retro, some relics. Well, I don't know if they're called them retro, but some relics of the past. Even some classic Coke machines over there. Check the, take a look at that, the bottle of Coca-Cola. And this old fuel pump here, this old diesel fuel pump as well. I'm also just realizing it is 2023, not 2022, as stated at the beginning. January 7th, 2023, as the recording of this. It could take me a few weeks to get the 23 down. Get some stuff? I did. Forty-five dollars worth. Forty-five dollars worth of fruits and veggies. Yeah, but I got I got okra, corn on cob, squash, pears, oranges, ginger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start boiling ginger, honey, okay. 
We've got all kind of good stuff. Healthy. And uh, fried okra. I'm going to make fried okra. All kinds of stuff. I'm glad we stopped here. Must be feeding time. Stampede! Stampede! Except for this little turtle. The little turtle's trying to catch up. Tortoise in the hairstyle. Right down there. Go turtle, go. I got you, turtle. Hello there. Hello. Just saying hi. There's a nice little mural. Florida City. Heading northbound on Highway 27. Gonna connect with some other roads, but kinda heading away from civilization now. Northbound on 27. Fearing off at this intersection, we were just kinda discussing what kind of crop this is all the way out here. There's also a fire burning over there. Kind of looks like corn. It's not corn. It's a lot bushier than corn, but it kind of the same height as a corn stalk. There's a lot of trucks taking all this stuff to a factory. There's some moths or butterflies right there swirling around. All right, veering off of 27 onto the side road and now getting on this direction, heading towards Bell Glade. I don't think I've ever been through Bell Glade before. It just goes on for miles and miles and miles of it. Interesting, the name Bell Glade did ring a bell. I remember about 10 or 12 years ago, I used to do a lot of, you know, urbex type stuff. And I remember this was kind of on my radar for a while. And I passed by it and realized, oh yeah, this is the former hospital here in Bell Glade, still sitting here, empty, closed off, seen better days, but it's just sitting here, completely empty. Take a look at this beautiful place. Has the textbook palm tree right in front. Classic architecture over there. Little round driveway. Pretty neat. Not that I would ever jump this fence and go rooting around in there. It's not really what I do anymore. I'd even keep the honest man honest. There's even an officer parked right here in the parking lot too. All right, moving on. Now over here, really noticing the kind of archite unique architecture also on this. Not only the building is available and for sale across the road, but this little spot, which is now currently a Seventh-day Adventist church. Definitely getting some Florida vibes from that with the kind of crisscross flowery design there on the front of the concrete. Love that. And way up there, for one reason or another, the Goodyear blimp is out. Why would the Goodyear blimp be out here? Yeah, it is the Goodyear. And 
and a bird perching up on that. Veered off just a bit on this dirt road. I'm noticing this place, which looks like maybe some accommodations at some point, possibly a an old motel, all fenced off as well. It's obviously kept up in mow, but can't really tell exactly what it's used for currently. There's an old burned out car over there. Right on that corner, former store. The backside of an old store that sitting desolate now. Concrete. Wall still up. Arrive now in Pahokee or Pahaki, Florida. This is the water tower. P A H O K E E. Pahokee. Evidently, there is a downtown area. A lot of the, the windows and doors are barred up. And there are two water towers in town. There's one I showed on the outskirts of town. And then there's another one down this road through the downtown area. Definitely say I've never been through Pahokee. I think it's pronounced Pahokee or Pahaki. I don't know. Any idea, Mom? I don't know, but it's really a sad state that this city's in. Very run down. Do you really like the architecture through here though? Like kind of like Art Deco style. Even a store or restaurant over there says, I want Mo. Guess Billy Idol's been here. pink building over here is called the Creole Building. Kind of a neat little downtown. Just this little section here. That's the Chamber of Commerce on the, the orangish yellow building there that's the one level. And I guess that must be the skyscraper, the Creole Building there. The Creole building? Yes. But there are at least people walking around. It's very the videos that you do though. There's the Pahokee flower shop there. And we have found the theater in town. Always like a good classic theater. There's one right up here. It still has the marquee there. It even has where the movie posters would have been at one point. Painted pink now. And just sitting here desolate and empty. Going over a bridge now, running parallel to Lake Okeechobee, around the perimeter of Lake Okeechobee over there. In fact, we're gonna be going through Okeechobee. Those birds are circling around up there for sure. Vultures. Pulled over here off the side of the road. This little pull off. Stretching the legs. Continued on a little further into the town of Okeechobee, next to the Lake Okeechobee. But the water tower. It says Treasure Island.
not Okeechobee. Maybe there's treasure here. This mural here says railroad arrived here in Okeechobee back in 1915. There's a little painting there of a boat, train station, and the ice plant. Since I am in the neighborhood, per se, since this is just on the way onto the commute I'm on today, I decided to pop back by the Desert Inn bar and restaurant, or should I say former, here in Yeehaw Junction, Florida. Back in December of 2019, a tractor trailer truck, 18 wheeler, plowed right into the front of the building. And it has been rumored that it was gonna be torn down almost immediately after. In fact, I did a video a couple days after that, and then I did a video a year or two later. And it's been probably a year, I don't know, maybe even more than a year since I've been here. And I am here to update that nothing has been done to this place. In fact, I pointed this out last year, year and a half ago when I was here, the National Registry signage that used to be right up here has been removed. For whatever reason, they have opted not to keep it on the National Registry because really there's nothing left of it other than a demolished building. It looks like some parts have been taken down off of it, but you can really see right inside there into where the bar was and everything. Why in the heck? Oh look, there's a bathtub over there. I'm very curious why this has not been completely torn down, leveled, and then something else has been put in its place here. Before it was torn down, there was a lot of rumors this place was haunted, and they said that this this bordello room upstairs here and this window is one of the one of those said rooms. You see the, the curtain there. There's not even an attempt to like even have the fence up anymore. So I'm just gonna like walk right over here. Oh, look at this, so take a look. So this is still here. Property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Man, that right there. That is a relic. So sad what happened to this place. I was able to one time stay here around the little hotel around the back, which kind of resembles the Bates Motel in a lot of ways. Probably not structurally sound to go in here, so probably not the smartest to walk over there. You can see people have signed their, their names up there on the speaker. The table here. There's the bar over there. See there was like some spoons or something on the... Is this even open? Yeah, this is open. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to go any farther. It just wouldn't be a good idea to go in here because this, this could cave in at any time. So that's the update. From Yeehaw Junction. Again, do not recommend <laughs> climbing up there, any of that. Not a good call. A truck just like that, that's not the truck, but a truck just like that, plowed into it. Oh, they have removed the Desert Inn sign up there that had the, ho the hotel signage. So slowly but surely this thing is disappearing and being erased from existence. Well, that's the update here from Yeehaw Junction. Back before it was called Yeehaw Junction, it was called Jackass Junction. True story. The last time I was here, this whole side of the building was still intact. And now even this little storage area, you can see there's like a speaker there, some different household items, things like that. Some lettering down here to the sign across there can be seen. Yeah, just look how completely unstable all this is. There's a door right here. You know, it almost looks like, almost looks like something plowed into here as well. Or maybe during one of the last hurricanes. And if someone's not abiding by this, someone has ripped this door off 
and gone inside there. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of peek in, but. This mural here was painted back in 2011. And the bordello room was up there and I was able to go in here before it you know, was destroyed. I did a video on it where I stayed overnight around the back. It's not structurally sound. It's a big camper right there. There's this, there's the now infamous stove up there. We'll see how many photographs in this place was torn, you know, truck right ran right into this. You can see in through this way. Oh, there's an old Tom's machine. That's wild. That is so wild. All right, update. I'll check back in another year or so and just see what other stuff has been removed. And Man, that's wild. Oh, dang, that's a big lizard. That's like some of the iguanas I saw back in Key West, down in Key West. Over the last few days I was down there. That's a huge lizard. Dead milkman would be proud of that. Big lizard in my backyard. Can't feed to, afford to feed it anymore. And then around the back of the property is where I ended up staying over a decade ago or so. A place back here that Norman Bates and his mother, mother, would be completely proud of. They have boarded up these as well. I think it was that room right there I stayed in. In fact, I had an air mattress. I didn't even sleep on the bed. I took the air mattress that I had in my van when I was like staying in my, sleeping in my van, rented the room just to do a video staying overnight in a quote unquote haunted motel. And I, the, the, the mattress was not the most pleasant mattress. So I just put my air mattress on top of it. Ah, memories. Continued on now into Keenansville. Just passing through here as well. Home of the Heartbreak Hotel and someone with some fireworks. Just like the Elvis song, The Heartbreak Hotel. And across the way here, for a while I thought someone was living in the Heartbreak Hotel, but it doesn't look like anyone's living there now. But over here on the corner of North Bow Street is the old bank here in Keenansville, First State Bank, right across from the Heartbreak Hotel. And gonna finish off with the U.S. Post Office, Keenansville, Florida. 32739, the zip code. This dates back from way back in the day. I've shown this before, but it's been about a year or so. I'm passing right by it. Taking my mom home. And the old Keenansville school. With the bell right here. The sun is setting through the trees, soon to have drifted over the horizon. Well, that's gonna do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. A vlog is over. <laughs>